Nice little house. No, that, that's actually my pop's house. I was living there for about five months, about two years ago. I just couldn't afford it. $200 energy bills a month, and I wasn't even staying in the house. I was staying down in Baltimore, working down there, coming home to a 65-degree house on the weekends, and couldn't afford to live there. So, And I wasn't even paying the mortgage. I just couldn't afford it, man. Shit's expensive, yo. If it was meant for everybody to own shit and have shit, then it, it would, it, that's just how it would be. Home ownership is not for the faint of wallet. It's just not. But anyway, that ain't what this video is about. I'm really here because I do not want to go home because the cat working on my, I'm getting that one bedroom fixed. The bedroom that, was actually my grandmother's bedroom when she died in. The one when I was complaining that the girl didn't come get the furniture. And I had to, she wanted me to pay for the truck, which I wasn't doing. That one. So I'm going to fix that room up. It's getting fixed now. I'm not there because I really don't like being in the presence of, of anybody that's not a woman that I want to fill in the blank. Um, and that's just what it is. It's like, he's not a bad guy, but I mean, he's not a friend. He's only fucking with me because I'm paying him to fix up my house. And I'm only fucking with him because he's fixing up my house. The fact that I got to pay him is the incentive that he has to do it. But I don't fuck with him like that. I mean, I don't know. He's cool. Don't, don't get me to say, I, he's, he's just a anti-social motherfucker i don't fuck with people i've said that numerous times it ain't nothing that i do that's going to change that and that does affect the status social proof i ain't really talking about that now but what i'm talking about is the reason why i let that guy work on my crib and the reason or not the reason but the way you show somebody that you're a solid man and you're respectable and that they try some shit they're, they'll think twice before they try some physical shit with you. And that's basically how you shake a man's hand, yo. Seriously. Like, I'm tired of those handshakes where people put their hand out and their hand is like this when they shake your hand. Like, you don't get the webbing. You're supposed to get the webbing of your hand like that. And it's three pumps. One, two, three. And on the third pump, you let go. But there's some force with that. With each pump, you're supposed to accelerate a little bit. It's actually kind of an art form to giving a handshake the proper way. You bring people to life with a handshake. I'll give you an example how I did it. Y'all know I'm from Delaware. Bernard Hopkins from Philly, but he lives in Delaware in a place called Hokessa. And one day I was at the car wash on Kirkwood Highway and I saw what looked like to be him. I said, yo, is that Bernard Hopkins over there? Look like Bernard Hopkins. They're like, yeah, that is him. He comes here often. So you know me. I'm psyched on Bernard Hopkins. One, because he's a tough guy. Number two, if you know when he fought Felix Trinidad, he was six to one underdog. He took his purse, meaning the money he was going to earn for the fight, bet on himself. Supreme confidence, right? And then he knocked Trinidad out. I think it was in the last round. Um, so I was psyched on him. That's what I was going to talk to him about. Like, yo, man, I, you how you bet on yourself for uh, Felix Trinidad? That's some real ballsy shit, man. I respect what you do. And that's all. I, I, I left the, the gambling part out because the look on his face, I was about 10 yards away from him, and I noticed the look on his face was like, oh, man, who is this dude coming up to me, man? I don't need this motherfucker coming up to me. I don't know him. Don't want to know him. So I could see that. I could see it. When you learn how to read facial expressions from people, you can tell what motherfuckers is thinking. I ain't going to say it, but what they thinking. So I just said to him, you know, I just, I wanted to let you know I respect what you do. And I was real humble about it. Shook his hand the way I just told you to do it, and he had his head, he was looking at his phone. And with each pump, I noticed his head went up, up, up. And then he finally gave me eye contact. And he was like, thank you. So then, you know, that's it. We, you know, we let our hands go. And he's on the other side of the car. I mean, the parking lot getting his car. And it may seem minor to you, but, you know, I'm all, all the way across the parking lot. He looks over and gives me a head nod. I mean, that, that meant something to me, you know. And what prompted me to know that a handshake is how you measure a man. I was an amateur fighter. When I was in the ages of 16 to 20 and we went to the blue horizon one day if you don't know what that is that's a fight a small a minor circuit for local fighters up in Philly the blue horizon we seen Joe Frazier there and I shook his hand another tough guy right I shook his hand and I thought he was trying to to hurt me man like for real it was like dude why are you shaking my hand so hard and I went home as we were riding home in the car I remember saying how hard he shook my hand and how I didn't like it. And he was just like, nah, that's just how men shake hands and let you to let you feel their presence. So I was like, okay. And I found that to be the case when 
they had a guy come in when I was in undergrad to tell us how to conduct ourselves in a job interview. And I told him, and that's what he told the class, like, yeah, when you shake someone's hand, you, you should try to break it. I don't mean like, Arr! but you should shake that man's hand and let him know that if you fuck with me, there's going to be a problem here. That's what you can tell with handshakes. That's why if you give somebody a firm handshake and they give you a firm handshake, but it's not as firm as yours, you shake hands with them again, they won't have the, the handshake that wasn't as strong as yours the first time. They will, oh, they'll back that shit right down. Someone told me when I was in this IT class getting, you know, IT tutelage, uh, the woman said, you know, if a guy shakes your hand, because I, I said that, what if a guy shakes your hand and you don't, it's weak and all that? Just, they're wimps, basically. So I'm not no motherfucking wimp, man. You shake my hand, you're going to know that, you know, I can't push this guy around. You know, I can't, you know, shame him into anything. You just can't. But yeah, learn how to shake hands, y'all.